After legal battles between Grenlec's major shareholder WRB and the government of Grenada, in which government sought to repurchase 50% shares owned by WRB, the International Tribunal last month ruled against the government of Grenada. The tribunal ruling follows the contract signed by the government of Grenada in 1994 under the leadership of then Prime Minister Nicholas Brathwaite. Addressing the media in his capacity as leader of the opposition on Wednesday, Tobias Clement says he will not allow the issue to go by silently. One of the big issues that will have to be looked at that is not yet debated is probably the sale of Greenland. I can remember in 1994, almost all hell break loose when Greenland was sold. And now it seems like it's just escape, it's escaping quietly under the radar. I heard it mentioned uh, in, in the last press con briefing just a, a few days, and nobody paid any mind to it. But there are some questions that must be asked, and, and critically, uh, they must be asked by the media, and by, I, well, I will ask some questions. Um, I, I, I am still debating whether or not on Friday in Parliament will be the first salvo, but um, a lot of questions must be asked. Clement said that he will provide a leadership that will take constructive criticism. For those who may be questioning his actions, Clement says change starts with one person. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell, during a press conference on Monday, reiterated his promise to provide the Grenadian people with a 30% decrease in the electricity fee for three months as one of several COVID-19 relief measures. We already promised the nation that we'll do something about the price of electricity um, for, for three months. Um, while we have, have not finalized the, the, the complete um, um, sale of Grenlec, um, we have indicated that we have promised when that, co when that control comes, we will meet that commitment we made and that the government will, in fact, find some mechanism to provide some relief before that, that um, engagement is finalized. During a meeting of the Finance Committee on Wednesday, $3 million was allocated for Grenlec. In 2016, WRB claimed that a government breached the share purchase agreement by passing a new Electricity Supply Act and a new Public Utilities Regulatory Commission Act. Government denied any wrongdoing and refused to buy back the shares at WRB's asking price. However, the tribunal upheld WRB's request. Cherry and Blackburn, Stephen, GBN News.